Hi, my name's Mackenzie Taylor. I come from Ashford in Middlesex and I'm 16 years old. Well, I just think it's a really unique opportunity and uh, as far as racing drivers come, it's, it's quite hard for them to get an opportunity like this. So to come here with the likes of Rob Wilson, Peter Windsor and uh, David, I think it's just a really unique opportunity. And uh, obviously I came here to try and do my best and have a shot at winning. Uh, well, as far as my experience in driving cars goes, it's very little. In fact, I haven't driven a single race car before on a circuit. So I came here to try and uh, to get as much out of it as I could. Uh, I really looked forward just to being able to learn to drive fast. And, and obviously Rob's taught me some techniques. He's sort of, we've touched on heel and toe. And uh, as far as downshifting, upshifting goes, he's, he's improved me a lot from the beginning of the day. And uh, I think just the way Rob explained stuff, it just made it so much easier for me to understand what I had to do as the driver. Um, Peter's talk obviously introduced Rob to us and, and gave us a brief overview of what will be happening today. So I thought it was very helpful in, in terms of understanding what I had to do today. And then once Rob started speaking, I was, I was just truly amazed at, at his understanding of the car and how to explain it, the transfer of the weight, etc. I just thought the way Rob spoke really sort of came through to me as a driver and uh, I think that really helped when I was on the track sort of translating it into driving and it, it was really useful to me. Um, well I'd like to think I've got a good chance because I'm one of the youngest competitors but at the same time because I haven't been doing any car racing as to date it means that I, I'm, I'm most adaptable to be able to drive in the way that the coaches or the teams want me to do so I can learn how they want me to drive rather than have to break down bad habits. So in that respect, I reckon I've got a fair good shot at getting through to the final at least. Oh, it was absolutely amazing, to be honest with you. I mean, from the moment I drove out of, of the pit lane with the car, I just thought it was just amazing. And as, as I got better at driving and I, I knew where the track went, I could start to push a little bit harder and just a little bit faster. And it was just a brilliant. I really enjoyed it, every minute of it. Uh, the Fiat Bar 500. Uh, as I, have, as I say, I haven't driven a lot of cars before, but as far as I know, it seemed pretty fast. It quite nippy through the corners and very responsive on the steering with just a little bit of oversteer coming through the faster stuff. So really, it was, it was a fun experience, but it was quite a fast car at the same time and it was perfect for doing the job that it required. Um, well, Rob, did, Rob sort of gave me a lot of tips and helpful advice. So I suppose, when it, just when it comes to braking and, and I remember watching a video of Rob where he explained in a kart, which is what I'm used to driving, a go-kart, everything happens very fast and, and instant. Whereas in a car, Rob explains you've got to almost send a letter to the car, make the process drag out a little bit so that the car's got time to respond to what you're doing and just slow the inputs down that you're putting into the car. So I suppose just slowing down and being calm was the most useful thing that Rob told me today. Well, on my eighth birthday, I went down to a hire kart circuit just for the day. Uh, my dad let me have a go on a, as I say, a hire kart. And from the moment I first drove it, I absolutely loved it. So it wasn't long, maybe a few months after, I got my first kart, which was a Coma Cadet. Uh, they do about 60 miles an hour, they're 60 cc, so they're, they're pretty fast. And I just got into that, I started testing. I did my first race at Blackbush in Camberwell. And really from there, the rest was pretty much history and joined a few teams, Fusion Motorsport. I won my first uh, real British championship in Formula Cadet. And then I was vice champion last year in 2008 in KF3. So uh, 2009, I've been doing the senior category and now I'm here today.